Materiality is addressed in Section 320 of the AICPA and International Standards of Auditing. It is covered in Auditing Standard 11 of the PCAOB. In order to plan the nature, timing, and extent of audit procedures, an auditor should establish a materiality level for the financial statements considered in total. As appropriate, in light of the circumstances. The auditor should evaluate whether, in light of the particular circumstance, there are certain accounts or disclosures for which there is a substantial likelihood that the misstatements of lesser amounts than the materiality level established for the financial statements as a whole would influence the judgment of a reasonable investor. Does the client have accounts that are so important that any error would cause an investor to sell? Auditors use performance materiality to make sure that the aggregate of uncorrected and undetected immaterial misstatements does not exceed materiality for the financial statements as a whole. When auditor is referred to as tolerable misstatement. So what does this mean? It means there is no specific amount or formula to determine what is material. Some people suggest that a good rule of thumb is that anything less than 5% is probably not material and anything more than 10% probably is material. Of course, they don't tell you 10% of what. For a startup company, the most relevant base may be revenues because they don't have any profits. For a long-established multi-state company, the most relevant base may be net income. If you are auditing a diamond merchant, variations in inventory should be zero. The dollar amount of what is significant or important or material will vary depending on the nature of the business. Once the dollar amount for materiality in the total financial statement is established, the auditor must evaluate smaller variations in the individual accounts that add up to an amount that exceeds the materiality threshold. Always remember that the real issue is whether the misstatement or error would change the investment decision of an outside investor. Now, what would you do if you discover an error that exceeds the materiality threshold? The auditor will suggest changes to the accounting records to correct the error. If management makes the suggested changes, the error no longer exists. If management refuses to make the corrections, the auditor's opinion will be affected and in some circumstances the auditor may resign the appointment.